Hello. Hello, everybody. Mic check. Is my sound good? Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi. Nice to see everybody saying hi here. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my first stream! Okay! <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain... My brain's kinda clearing out right now. I'm so excited to be on stream right now. But... Da, 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 let me see... <laughs> yeah, hello everybody and welcome to stream! Um, I'm your new streamer. My name is Ziggy. And today, you know, we'll be doing an armor design stream. And... You know, the focus of this assignment will be, uh, or I should say live stream. <laughs> the focus of this live stream will be designing light traveling armor, because that's what won the poll actually. And in case you didn't know, our community is filled with tons of art nerds, and we art nerds have to stick together. If you're an art nerd too, be sure to check out the links to our social media in the, descri the description below. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is so nice to see how active everybody is in chat. Nice. It's also nice like watching you guys like greet each other in chat. And uh yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Lost me? Oh, did my did my uh, mic disappear when I moved to the thing? Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Okay, my bad. I forgot to say uh, I don't have my mic there. But basically, you know, I, I'm gonna repeat it right again here. So if you'd like to support us so we could be keep making uh, free content, you know, you could become a YouTube member or like emotes and stuff. Or you could support us on Patreon, basically. <laughs> I think I forgot to add my mic there. This is my bad. But <laughs> you love my voice? Thank you. <laughs> I'm flattered. But you know what? We gotta get on track. Okay. There's enough fumbling around. I know it's my first time, but you know, it's time to move on. Okay, we gotta move on to our submissions, which I gotta pull up here. Yeah, so this is for our monthly uh, monthly art challenge that we have on our Discord, and I wanna feature like 10 that I picked out. So this one is by uh, Alice M. Uh, Alice ML. And she said that she was trying out Art Nouveau for this artwork and I really love it. I really love the all the cool colors she used, you know, lots of green and blue. And another important part actually of Art Nouveau is uh, is nature. So another way you could express nature is through like organic shapes. And you can see there's like lots of round like curved shapes and it has a nice flow to it. So that's what I really like. Yeah, what are my pronouns? My pronouns are he, him. Yeah, thank you for asking. But yeah, really nice submission, Alice ML. And then here's another one. This one is Aeon. Uh, I hope I pronounced your OC's name right. But this is by Delta Lenaris. And I really love the way they did the shading on the muscles and all the coloring. Um, the way they shaded the, the muscles actually, if you look closely at the skin, the shadow isn't exactly gray or black. They use like a darker like shade of red, which is exactly how I color and it's a really good tip. It makes your makes your colors more interesting. <laughs> yeah, good job on this one. And then this one's from E Durian Art. Is it like E Durian? Like <laughs> electronic durian. But anyway, uh this is their this is based on their Minecraft skin, actually. 
and they describe her as like a chill kind of person, you know, chill nature. And I think my favorite part about this is uh, all the leaf, the leaf motif. <laughs> it's uh, at first I thought it was wings, but then it made more sense for it to be like leaves, you know, for the nature vibe. I really love it. Good job on this one. And this one is from Gravy, or their Instagram, Gravy Gracus, or is it Gracus? Let me know if I got it wrong. But this is a really wonderful piece. Like, I'm not very good at drawing animals, and they really nailed it with this one. And not to mention, this is a beautifully rendered um, artwork. I really love all the... If you really look closely, like, it has very cool colors for the shadows. It's like slightly blue, slightly purple, and then to contrast it, you got like a nice golden light, you know, to, to highlight the main point, which is the goat character. Amazing job. I love it. Wait, let me see what Chad is saying, actually. Doing a bad job with that. <laughs> but yeah, this one, I really love this one from Jack the Jester. So this is their character, and his name is Gang. And if you look closely, actually, it's a, it's a bunch of mimics grouped up together onto one person. So like the sword is a mimic, the cloak is a mimic, pants, the, the gloves and shoes. This is a really wonderful design. I, uh, I really love it. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. I, this is the type of stuff I love to see. Especially, I forgot to mention, the theme was like character design. So this is wonderful. Good job. And this one, this one is from Kaid Word, and <laughs> this person is really enthusiastic about this drawing. They submitted it so many times, <laughs> and yeah, it's wonderful. Um, it's very simple, and I love how they're all interacting with one another. You know, they're not just like standing together; they're all like bunched up in this uh, this little huddle that they have here, all interacting, looking at this person drawing. I love it. Very good. <laughs> also, I guess a little tip, like, you, you only have to submit once. You don't have to submit, like, multiple times. Like, you'll see it. So yeah, wonderful job. And this one's by Nox Hollow. I really love the energy of your character here. And I think my favorite part about this one is, uh, the lightning. So, like, if you look at the lightning, it's, like, going around her and... It's really, it's framing her really nicely. And I really love her shoes too. So like, that's a highlight. This is a bonus. And what else do I like? Yeah, the... I think they mentioned that this character had like a manic energy to them. And you could really tell from like the lightning how erratic it is. And like you could see in her hair as well. But yeah, it really shows like wonderful. The wonderful, wonderful character design. <laughs> Alright, next one. Uh, this one is just Nightmare Fuel. It's by Pickled Turnips. <laughs> this is a wonderful design. You know, like, you gotta add some horror to it. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> like, there's like an eel and there's like an open mouth, like, keeping at the chest. It's crazy. Yeah! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yeah, I know, this is a freaky one. And, um, what else can I say about this one? I'm just speechless about it. Like, there's little details, like, if you look at the the veins on, the, like, the thighs. Kind of freaky. Oh, I'm using Clip Studio Paint, actually. Yeah. But yeah, amazing. And this one, Start C. Or, do I pronounce it as Star... Or Star Ritzy? <laughs> Maybe Start C. This is a wonderful design. It really reminds me of an artist named uh, Nel Now. You should look them up. I think they were like a guest designer for Deltarune. So they designed some characters for Deltarune. So yeah, Nel Now. Like that's the artist that reminds me of a... Uh, that's the artist that reminds you of, I mean. <laughs> and uh, I really love how it's mostly like reserved colors. So it's like a, a purplish gray, like a bluish gray, which makes it 
more natural that you see these colorful spots like the yellow, red, blue, and green. So they don't really distract from it, you know, like they're used very sparingly. But yeah, wonderful job. And last but not least, this is from Still an Eye Who Can Draw. Yeah, what a name. And, you know, they had an entire, like, backstory to this character, actually. Let me look for it. Let me look for, like, what they wrote down so I could, like, quickly go over it. So, yeah, this character is named the Archivist from their fantasy. And they're basically in charge of guarding something called the Infinity Book. So, I really love it when, you know, people, like, come up with really, really, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Intricate intricate backstories for the character and uh, I appreciate that you know they took some like eldritch elements you know like there's the tentacles and the multiple hands and the uh, what else the faceless you know the faceless features it makes it more mysterious so amazing amazing job <laughs> my voice is lovely thank you <laughs> uh, but yeah those are all the amazing submissions and I hope you guys keep submitting more. So yeah, with that done, right and done, I think we'll get started on our assignment. So yeah, let me pull up the chat so that I could read it. Here we go. That should be good. So alright, we can finally get started. Armor design. So, the stream will focus on design and not the like fully render armor. It's all about it's not really all about making a pretty picture that could be used for like a video game cover or like a book cover. It's more like exploring ideas and coming up with a design for whatever your heart desires. So yeah, I could finally like whew, put my pen, put my pen to get the tablet. <laughs> whew. So let me like write it down. The armor. <laughs> I'm not used to seeing so much life in the chat. I love it. So armor design. Stween. Right here. So I think I could divide it into like four main points, I think. So when I'm designing armor, there are four main points I like to think about. So there's purpose. And then... Let me write it down all here. There's mobility, mobility of armor, and boop, uh, silhouette, oh yeah, this is how I spell silhouette, how I remember, silhouette, I hope I spelled it right, I know I spelled it right, of course, I'm a big boy, <laughs> so there, and then last but not least, color, and material. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm using a I'm using a drawing pad, but you can still follow along actually, even if uh not using digital. Also forgot. Gotta write down. <laughs> I gotta switch. So okay, anyway, let's start. So first off, purpose. You gotta ask yourself, what is your armor for? armor for so this is like a question you would ask yourself you know is it like for guarding guarding a castle is it for hunting so yeah these are like the questions you should be asking yourself and in the case of this one um we'll be doing the light what was it the light traveling armor because that's what won the poll from earlier. Trying to follow this in real time? Oh yeah, I'll try my best to keep it at a nice pace. <laughs> Light traveling. Armor. Oh. So. Now, uh, blah, blah, blah. Since we decided it'll be light traveling armor. This is how uh, I like to think of my designs. Because this is already enough to go on to make an amazing design. So... I would make something called a mind map, and I pretty much do this for like uh, each designing thing I do. So the way it works is I think of words related to the top word here. 
So when I think of traveling, I think of, you know, hiking. And I think of uh, weather. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta, like, withstand the weather somehow. And what else? What do you guys think of when you hear the word light, traveling, or armor? So let me know in chat. Love to hear. So what else do I think of? So I guess another part of this one, right? Uh, supplies? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, supplies. Journey. Oh yeah. <laughs> traveling, journey, yeah. Of course. So from these three words, you know, now I'm gonna go off of this. When I think of hiking, I think of a staff, you know, like a walking stick and foraging. Oh yeah, that's another good one. Yeah. When I think of supplies, I think of foraging. These are all like great ideas. Durability, cloak. Yeah, cloaks. Yeah, classic. So I'm going to write it all down here. Cloak. Triangular prisms that light goes through. Wow. Oh yeah, that's definitely a nice song. It's kind of like, you know, when you see the rainbow when it rains. Flexibility. Yeah, definitely. Flexibility. But yeah, and this is how a mind map works. You basically think of words, connect it to words. And with that, you get like a really good idea. Yeah, these are all like amazing suggestions. Thank you, chat. So. I think for this one, what really speaks to me is uh, the staff, the cloak, uh, flexibility, and uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess these three would be enough actually to go off of. But yeah. So that's how you decide the purpose of your armor. Oh, also, I forgot to mention actually for purpose. This is the part where you decide. Um, what was it? This is the part where you decide whether you want it realistic or stylized. You know, for uh, for the sake of the stream, I think I'll be doing a bit of both. But you know, basically, you should ask yourself this in the very beginning because if you're going the realistic route, you know, you're gonna be doing like lots of research. You know, like looking up videos of people putting armor, like getting inspiration from historically accurate armor and stuff. And then stylized is just like, just go nuts, you know, like, let your heart do whatever it desires and draw. <laughs> draw the craziest armor you could think of. But yeah, right now I'm just reading it. Possibly bows for hunting. So space for a holder. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea as well. Yeah. So I think that settles it for purpose. Yeah, thank you for the help. Stylized. Da, da, da. Let me arrange my file here a little bit. Doot. Yeah, so when we're designing, you know, you should spend the most time, you know, deciding. Uh, deciding the, whatchamacallit, like planning, I guess. <laughs> because that's the most important part. Dude. It's the part you want to spend the most time on so that you end up with a really nice, you know, really solid design where it's like you don't have to stress about, oh, like, does it work or not? But yeah. <laughs> the purpose. Dude. I think I'm going to need a lot of space for mobility actually, so maybe I'm just going to hide this. Mobility. And let me. Whoop. Dude. And. Yeah, I'll just uh, upload them separately. So mobility. I really want to talk about this one because I know this is where... This is the part that scares people off, right? So there... Let me draw like a really quick person actually. So let me draw, you know, a really quick mannequin man. Not too important to... Uh, to get this accurate for now. Just need like a stilt. Yeah, because joints are really important when you're considering for armor. But yeah. 
basically, you know, I'm gonna start off with like the chest plate. So on the chest plate, I'm gonna change the color actually. I know that's a bit too green. Maybe like that. Or you know what? Like that. That should be fine. <laughs> so on the chest area, you know, there's not really much movement required. But usually a chest plate would end right before where the waist would bend. Like right here. So like when you do like waist bends like this. So like let's say you do this armor. Hmm. Usually right here. This is where the bend is. That's where the chest plate would be. Yeah, I'm just uh quickly reading over chat, seeing what you guys are saying. I see. And then for shoulders. Now shoulders, this is a really important one, I think. So the shoulders, uh, whatchamacallit. I wanted to talk about butterfly. Is it? Butterfly joints, I guess? <laughs> the butterfly joints. So are you guys familiar with like the butterfly movement? What do I mean by that? So basically, um, what I mean by that is this. So let me draw it. Boop. Try my best to draw it. And then butterfly back. That. So it's when you move your your shoulder like forwards, like that, and then backwards, you know, you're like flapping, you're flapping your shoulders like a butterfly, and that's why I call it like the butterfly joint, like that. So that's a really important part to shoulder armor. So let me move it aside here. Beep. Because, uh, Depending on how mobile you want your character to be, that's what decides where the sleeve of the the chest plate would be, basically. So I'll show what I mean by that. So this is the chest plate. That. And then this, the shoulder plate right here. So if you want your character to be able to do butterfly joints, Basically, the chest plate sleeve would be like really early. It would be like right here. Like, like that. Boop. And then, quick refresh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was for me. Okay. And then the shoulder plate would be shaped like this, actually. So that'll be like enough space. For you to flap your shoulders basically like this one right here Boop. but then if you don't think like that much movement is needed for you then you could totally just uh, move it right here and then basically the shoulder plate would be a bit right here yeah just looking over chat right now. You love my art style? I haven't even drawn anything yet. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll get better. So basically, try like moving your your joints around, like to get a better feel for it. For the shoulders, so like roll them around, and try to imagine if it would like bump into any armor. So like, so that and what else do I want to talk about and then basically everything here it's just uh it's free real estate <laughs> like you could design it as much as you want like you could put anything on there as long as this part is not obstructed like this part very important so I guess I'll mark it in red right here I'll put it right here as well 
And then I w another thing I want to talk about is the elbow. The elbow area. So I know that's like a really like confusing one for most people. So let me draw like a quick elbow right here. So usually if your character <laughs> it's free real estate, yeah. <laughs> if uh if your character is wearing like full bodied armor, this is usually like the minimum of how much your arm could bend. So it'll be like this. What I would do is I would draw like a diagonal line like this. And that's usually enough to describe like how uh, to describe the maximum movement, range of motion of your armor. <laughs> so this basically means uh, this is the maximum. And it's good to try and imagine your armor like fully flexed to its maximum capacity because it's hard to uh, imagine mobility with it just like being relaxed. So I'll show what I mean. So like that. I'll draw the elbow now like relaxed. So basically we drew this diagonal line <clears throat> and now we could basically imagine that this part will form like a diamond shape like that so that it's open for movement like that <laughs> yeah doot, doot. and let me describe that onto the little diagram here doot. so I'll draw like a little diamond and I really want to focus on mobility because I know we're designing like a light, like armored character for today. But by the end, I really want you guys to feel comfortable designing like a wider range of armor, you know, not just limited to light, to really light, less armored, less armored characters. But yeah. And then basically this, you know, also free real estate like that green you can just design it however you want if you want to add spikes to it it's fine if you want to add like you want to make it thicker it's also fine you know free real estate <laughs> but yeah let me do it on the other side as well doot, doot. yeah look over chat thanks for fuzzy And this one for the legs, you know, the thigh, lots of free real estate as well. So like, it'll be like this. So basically, we're forming like a diagonal shape here. So that, you know, your legs could like f freely move around. I should uh, mark it actually. Red equals joint slash movement. And then green is free real estate <laughs> for design for design <laughs> and da -da -da. basically another important joint <clears throat> is the knee actually so let me Describe the knee here, be right here, and it'll be pretty similar to to this one, to the elbow bend. So let me let me describe the knee bend here. Boop. And don't forget the greaves, yeah. So that. So now I'm gonna describe a bent knee. Like that. Good. So I'm just gonna do the minimum like this. So if this are a bent knee, it should be able to bend like this at a minimum. And if you want it to bend like at an exaggerated way like this, that works too. Like if you do this method. As usual, I draw like a slice 
like that. And you know, the same as the elbow, it'll make a, uh, whatchamacallit, a diamond shape. Like that. And if I were to describe it, so basically, now the back of the knee will be like this, it'll be open. that and then boop. this is the kneecap kneecap and then boom be real estate <laughs> and then once you've made it down to like the legs it's pretty much like pretty free you know like not much movement other than like the pivot here pivot on the uh the ankle and then if you want to be really fancy you know there's like a toe bend right here yeah i guess this is like a quick diagram for mobility let's see yeah it, it'll take me a week to learn from reference oh yeah you know like it takes time it's like uh it's like i like to tell my students right it's like going to the gym like you don't just go into the gym and lift the heaviest weight you know you gotta work to get to the heaviest weight and it's pretty unlikely that you'll get there you know first time around okay just uh keep practicing but yeah that's mobility so there we made like a really nice diagram of uh important joints to keep in mind and you know where you could go nuts basically <laughs> yeah and what was the third one silhouette okay silhouette this is the one. This is the one where you just uh, you design your character. Where I finally get to design something. <laughs> so let me bring up my older one here. Oh, I didn't have to move you out of the way. Where is it? There we go. I'll keep you in mind, the purpose. So now, this is where I actually draw. What if you bend in your armor and it just squishes you? I hope not. This is the complete opposite of armor. It's supposed to protect you. So... You know what? I'll make this... More neat. That's less of a... Less of a mess for me. Purpose. There we go. So yeah, this is where... You know, we could finally design our character. So... Take my time with this one. Copy, paste, paste. What do you need to practice drawing clothes, armor, and designs? Uh, I really suggest watching videos where, you know, people are putting on armor. Because that was really helpful for me, actually. Because when you watch people put on armor, you could, you could tell, like, oh, I'm not supposed to put armor on there, or, like, so this is how it works. This is how they take it off. This is what it protects. But yeah. That's what I highly suggest. Watch people like putting on armor and stuff. Oh no, they're like exclamation commands that some people could use. Not like limited to the mods. <laughs> no reverse armor? Are you going to talk about posing an armor? Um... Not in this one. I'll be focusing on designing, like, armor, basically, like, appearance-wise. Not really in pose. But I think, uh, you could keep the mobility stuff in mind if you want to design and pose more. So, yeah. I'm gonna design the base here. Yeah, lots of inspiration to go around and like different different cultures, you know, different parts of history. So yeah, I'm gonna build my character really quick here. So this will be our light traveling person. I'm gonna walk you through. 
I, I also totally forgot to mention, like, helmets. <clears throat> I forgot to mention helmets earlier, actually. Let me go back here really quick. But sometimes, you know, helmets could just be here, like before the neck. And then the armor from the neck could be coming from the chest plate. Or it could be like a big helmet, like the sun. So basically, like, you gotta turn your whole body around to, like, turn around in the armor. But, like, that's personal, personal preference. But personally, I like it like this, where it's, like, helmet and then neck protector from the chest. But yeah. And doop. Let me get that out of the way. And what else? Okay, I'll keep this one. Yeah, lots of layers. <laughs> okay, where should I start? I usually like starting with the chest plate. So, I really like the cloak idea. So maybe I'm gonna give him like a big scarf. Right here. Anything to weather the elements. So, that. And then the chest plate, it'll be very light, so it wouldn't be jutting out like this. It'll be like hugging their form a little bit more, and a lot less armor. And I'm gonna follow along. <laughs> yeah, scars are just a go-to. They just scream adventure, you know, main character. It's so good. And then, you know, I wanted the staff motif so maybe they have like a what's it called maybe like some sort of staff weapon like like a glaive maybe or like a walking stick maybe it's a glaive i'll say it's a glaive i'll get rid of you for a second or a spear maybe a pipe up close thank you <laughs> i suggested that yeah yeah there's like hundreds of you so try my best <laughs> And, you know, something like a spear, um, if you want to be, like, really fancy with it, you know, like, I want my character to be really fancy with it. I want him to, like, flip it around, you know, like, helicopter with it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna give lots of, like, empty space right here, so that they're free to move their shoulders around. Like that. So, like, you can see here, there's lots of space for, like, the shoulder to move around. I'll put that on. Like that. Tear layout. Yeah, an arm sling too when injured. Oh yeah. Good ideas. And then... Doop. I'm gonna put on the... Uh... Yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, um, chest plate would usually end off right here before like the bend. Before or on the bend of the waist, actually. And then this will be like a different part of the armor. Like that. But I won't put that on. What time is it? Right. Okay, we have more than enough time, actually. I know either, where'd you get that? <laughs> so... Trying to think of what else I could do. So the shoulder. So usually actually for shoulders, I could go more in depth now. Is they would go on like the front side of your shoulder. Like right here. And then they would have like a part that protects where the bend would be. So this would protect the the like the part where your arm connects to your chest without obstructing your movement so even though like the chest plate is really open the shoulder plate could compensate by like covering up like that but yeah i really want to show like the fo the the process of it you know to, like disenchant it like i want you guys to try like 
if it seems like, oh, it's a really hard thing to do, or like, I'm kind of scared of messing it up, you know, you gotta start. You, you gotta try it, and then figure out where you go from there, you know? So now we got shoulder. And then, I agree this. And actually, I want to make the scarf bigger. Right here. Maybe I'll make it like an actual cloak. Nah. <laughs> Looking at chat now. Are there any shapes you're focusing on specifically for my armor? Rigid, soft, sharp? That's a really good question actually. So shapes of your armor could really say a lot. So maybe if your armor is like really smooth like this, you know, that's a really easy shape for uh, blacksmiths to do actually. So like shapes could really say a lot about your armor. Um, if it's like really easy to make, you know, that to me says like, maybe they're not well off. Maybe my character is like not rich or maybe it's just a hand-me-down armor, you know, from like a village. But then, like, if their armor is like this, like, very slick, you know, sharp, sleek edge, that to me says it's like, oh, this is, this is fancy. Made by, like, a fancy blacksmith. So maybe this person is, like, more on the richer side or something. Yeah, that's a really good, really good suggestion. But yeah, I want my character to be, like, a humble, humble traveler. So, where is it? Maybe I'll add that to here. Humble. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep track of all our ideas. Make fun of. For acrobatics. I see. Actually, since you mentioned acrobatics, I want to talk about, like, arm raises. Really quick. Hold on. Where is it? Boop. Where's my file? Yeah, so generally, like, uh, the maximum, like, arm raise, like, full armor can do is like this. It's the praise of the sun pose, where, like, you raise your arms like this. It usually stops because the shoulder plate, like, bangs into it, like this. And that's what stops it from moving. But, if you really want an acrobatic character who's still in armor... I'll suggest something for you. They'll be like this. And then their armor is open here, basically. It's like a water wing shape. <laughs> like that. And then some sort of protection for that. So I guess you can't fully protect everything. Like, if you want acrobatics, there always has to be, like, a sacrifice, you know? You can't protect yourself while also doing backflips, I guess, so... That's how I would design, like, acrobatic armor like this. Yeah. Just a little side note. So this is like the main like shoulder plate and then I'm gonna add like a little plate here and then let me recheck. <laughs> yeah you can't protect yourself while also doing backflips yes sadly and then I don't want it to be too heavy because so far what I'm doing right now is just I'm laying out the armor. Uh, I'm laying out the shapes that I kind of want to do. That's another important tip I could give you guys actually in general. Just uh, keep your hand moving. Like even if it's just like a line like this. Like you could really like... It warms up your hand basically. Even if it looks like nonsensical, you know? Okay, so we got we got the flexibility part. No. 
Well, maybe... Yeah, I guess this is flexible enough, actually. We got the cloak part. We got the staff. And I forgot. I wanted to do supplies. So, maybe I'll add somewhere where they could add, like, bags and stuff. So, possibility would be... Like, a satchel here. And I'm putting it on here because, like, it's easy to reach and, uh... Doesn't really distract from movement. <laughs> oh yeah, shields also exist. Yeah. Or instead of shields, maybe you like, you know, dodge. <laughs> I guess, like, you gotta lean on dodging more than actually tanking hits. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. But this is one possibility, so we got... I'm gonna put a belt here for like the satchels and stuff. And then. And I don't know. I don't know if I should give them like full greaves actually. Because that already looks a bit heavy. But hmm. Yeah. You know what? I won't add like the thigh armor, but maybe. I'll add like, you know, from the calf, from the calf to the feet. That's what I'll do. Beep, beep. So I'll add like the knee armor, like that. And you know, like I mentioned earlier, it forms like a diamond shape that's open here, so that it can freely bend, right? So to compensate for like that huge opening, there are kneecaps that like cover up like this actually. So they cover the side like that. But I won't be doing like top armor here. So it'll only be just for the greaves here. <laughs> Why even need armor? Just be invincible. Oh yeah, just win. Why, why do you need armor? Just win. <laughs> and then... change my mind about that one. So like I mentioned earlier, we got the uh whatchamacallit? Got the ankle bend right here. So I'll leave some space for the armor. Like that. And you can see I'm using like really light uh strokes basically in my artwork. Because you know if you were doing this traditionally um, you'd, you'd be doing this like over and over again. <laughs> you, you can't expect to get like an amazing design at the first try. Because I'm not expecting to get an amazing design first try. I gotta carve it, you know. It, it, uh, it reminds me of this Michelangelo quote. And I might be quoting it wrong, but he says that he's getting the statue out of the stone. Okay. And it's not... <laughs> how did it, how did it go? It was something like that. Like he was saying he was uncovering the statue from the stone. Something cool like that. <laughs> it's the same thing, you know. Like to figure out what you want to draw, you gotta, you gotta chip away at some rocks. <laughs> there you go, this is my art tip. Chip away at some rocks and yeah, you'd be cool. Yeah, the statue already exists within the stone. Thank you, Elmer's glue. Very cool. Hmm. And then... I think I'm gonna leave this open, so like, I'm gonna give him like, baggy pants. So like I mentioned, this is the silhouette, right? So it's important. It's really easy to get really cluttered with armor, you know, with all the details you could add. So you gotta keep track of the silhouette of your character. Otherwise you end up with like, I don't know, like this guy. Like you can't even tell what he is from like the distance. Oh, I, <laughs> I take it back. This this design's kind of cool actually. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be a bad point. But this guy, I kind of like this guy. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> 
but right now I think I'm getting like a a better idea than had I not drawn like what was in my head. You know, I'm basically really loose. Like my hand is just like, whoa, this is moving around. So I have like a loose guideline. And I don't want to give him I don't know, I don't want to give him like van braces, like armor on the or a gauntlet. I think that's too heavy for traveling. And I think that's what I'm getting from this design. It's a bit too heavy for my my tastes to describe it like. So I mean. So we'll put this on the side now. Right there. Get out of the way. We could move on here. Right there. What a wizard character that does mainly ranged attacks need armor? Oh, good question. Um, honestly, that's up to your discretion. But then, if you feel like they'd be taking like hits and stuff, I would add like minimal armor. You know, like maybe, maybe like shoulder pads or like a chest plate. That would be enough. And then, right, put you down here. Yeah, because the secret to making good armor is the silhouette, you know. Like you could, you could make them look this big, and you'd be like, "Oh wow, this person's like really sturdy, really protected, right?" Just so that that simple stroke right there, you got like big shoulder pads, or like, like this, you know. So maybe like this, like, "Oh wow, the person's like wearing armor, so he's more protected than like your average guy," you know. So basically, if I could describe design, design, it's like a stop sign, you know, like, you look at this, hold on, let me draw it properly, you know, you look at this, boom, 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 you already know what it means, it means stop, you know, so, boop. oh, there we go, <laughs> not me struggling to draw like an octagon, or a hexagon, I mean, so like when you look at this like red hexagon, you already know it means stop, right? So it's the same thing. Like try to communicate a big idea with like less with less strokes as possible, basically. So big means protected, you know. Small means uh, not so protected, I guess. <laughs> we have. So now I'm gonna make a, a second iteration of this one, the traveler's armor. Because I think they look more, um, I don't know, they look too impersonal to me. Like there's too much armor, but I want to give them a slightly, like a hint of character, you know? Like where did they come from? So, hmm, how would I describe that? So already, uh, maybe I'll add like fur. I add fur to the scarf so that now we know oh this is a cold this guy's from a cold like region but hmm I'm trying to think what else do I want to change hmm. hmm oh yeah I guess if I wanted them to be more acrobatic there's some armors like this actually where it only protects the front, like that, and then the rest is just like straps, and then the back is open like that. Yeah, let me look at- I gotta look at what chat's saying. <laughs> yeah, for this one, it's just like, like uh, armor for everybody, I guess. Like anybody could wear fancy armor. Yeah, I want to make it look more protected. So, or actually, no, I've been drawing on the wrong layer. Oh no, that's okay. There, Control Z, Control Z layer. There we go. <laughs> A sleeping bag with armholes, so you'd have like worm armor. 
<laughs> no. What else did I do? Yeah, so as usual, you know, I want the full like shoulder rotations. Yeah, <laughs> drawing on the wrong layer. Yeah, it still happens. Now, I'm gonna add like, hmm. I'm trying to see what else I can change. Because I want to add more like bags to this character. Maybe I'll try. Or, hmm. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'll add like a satchel sort of thing. Messenger bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, all the ease. Alright. Please uh don't don't spam in chat. This is my first stream. You can't can't have spam in my first stream, you guys. I thought this was supposed to be a warm welcome. Satchel. Mm hmm. So maybe I'll make the I'll make the shoulder plate less restricting. I think. Hmm. It'll be open. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out like a nice shape to hug the the shoulder. Not waste time. So this is the part you should spend the most time on, I think. Because you know, now you've done your homework, you know, you've written down all your ideas. And this is the payoff, you know. Payoff where you get to uh let's go ham. I think, uh, let me change this actually. Instead of a scarf, let me try something new. Maybe the fur is like coming from the shoulder plate, like this. But then it'll be only going around the shoulder, like that. Hawaiian armors with this thumb. I've never seen like Hawaiian armor. I'm kinda curious. Maybe I'll look it up later. Okay, so I'll put like a neck protection here. Oh sure, that's you. Leather or maybe thinner metal on vital pieces, leaving areas less vital to be. Yeah, that's a really good suggestion. Yeah, like more leather? Yeah, for lighter. That's a really good idea. Try to see where I could incorporate that. Oh yeah, this is pre-recorded. I actually like guessed that you were about to say that. So that's why I'm saying this right now. This is pre-recorded all according to my plan. So, hmm. Yeah, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll add just a little scarf. I don't know if that'll look good. Like scarf and then surrounded by fur. Hmm. Nah, that's not looking good for me, actually. Maybe I'll just add like a... Oh, I got it. I got like... I'll add like a sweater. Like a turtleneck. I think that'd be good, actually. Yeah. And then... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think how a cloak would go. So maybe... Like that? So 
like this. Maybe I'll add like a cloth that's coming from the shoulder, like this one. I don't know, this is like a design thing I love doing. So it's only for like the sleeve, basically, like a fancy sleeve. Hmm. The Winter Warrior. Oh yeah, that's like the, the non-Marvel version, the Winter Warrior. Fancy sleeves, yeah. So as you can see, like, little shapes, like, I just literally added a curve, right? But then now it says so much about the character where it's like, oh, maybe they're like a fancy traveler. You know, maybe they're like a richer, on the richer end, or like a merchant of some sort. So, hmm, what else? Yeah, I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that suggestion where it's mostly leather. So maybe this chest plate, it's only for the front, and then the rest is just like straps, like that. And then, then this will be like a uh, thick leather right here, and then fur, like that. And what time is it? Gotta check the time. All right, we're making good time actually. It's good to see. And touch on helmet designs. Uh, I'll try my best. Let me see. What else I missed? Yeah, I'm trying my best to like uh, read over chat as well. <laughs> oh no, I missed it. Why am I a super villain? How did you know? How did you know I was a super villain? <laughs> but yeah I think uh also when I think of winter I think of like boots so maybe I'll add like you know the fur boots <laughs> I'll give them Uggs like boop <laughs> nah I won't I won't give them Uggs doesn't match the feel and maybe just simple like plates you know simple plates and then like that boom And then steel toe boots, you know. Yeah. But yeah, let me try covering uh, traveling. Actually, a trav. What would a traveler's helmet be in the winter? Because I think when I think of winter, I don't know what these hats are called, but like they look like this. I I don't know what they're called, but they look kind of cool. I like their silhouette it's like yeah so maybe i'll try that design yeah let me try out of the way okay Maybe I would like. I'll add like forehead metal here. Hold on. So like there'll be like a plate on their forehead, like this. That like goes across their head. Like that. And then. A hat. So I guess that's another. That's a good topic to cover. Like you could literally take inspiration from anything. Right? So like earlier I talked about like winter boots and now i'm talking about that hat so you could really oh excuse me <laughs> you could really take inspiration even from just the shapes right and that give it a bit of like character And then maybe I'll add a bit of fur on the under here. And then I'll add like spots, like those, like, or maybe like some sort of symbol on here. But then what else? What else do I think about for winter? Hmm. And I really like the baggy pants from our first design, so I think I'll keep that. Like 
bad. Because it gives it a nice silhouette, right? Makes it more interesting. Slippers? In the winter? <laughs> So I guess to make it more interesting, I'll do this design here. Because I feel like when I draw pants, I think it's the most boring part of my designs because I don't know what to put. So I'm trying to make it more interesting, I guess. Also, I guess talking about silhouette, I also want to talk about symmetry and asymmetry. So you can see here, right? Like the design is pretty symmetrical. Like, you know, you got you got your shoulder pad here, shoulder pad there, and then the sleeves are the same, you know, same shoes. Even just a slight uh, trace of asymmetry, like the sling bag, could go a long way. So, already it's like breaking the monotony of your design. So try to add it whenever you can. Like, try to think of creative ways to add that asymmetry to your, to your design. So like right now I'm thinking like maybe on this side, you know, you got the messenger bag side here. And then maybe on this side we got like this leather I guess I don't know what I would call it, like a leather strap for pockets maybe like that. So basically if you look at it from the front, it'll be like this. So like it's only on the side. So it's like, boop, boop, boop. and then it'll be like a pocket like that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Everything is easy when you practice a lot. You know, it'll be muscle memory at that point. Yeah, that's what it will be. And I think, yeah, this time around, right? We're starting to flesh out our ideas. You know, we're all doing a good job compared to like the first one, you know, the first one looks kind of generic, you know, it looks like, uh, I don't know, it just looks like a basic, like, guy, <laughs> but this one I think has more character now, it'll add like a little bit more detail, like cups, like that. With some simple hands. Yeah. So I guess this is our second design done. And da, 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 no idea. I keep drawing so fast. <laughs> so let me move this out of the way. Or actually, hold on. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, I promised myself I would only design like three because I think because <laughs> when it comes to this type of stuff, I usually design like five to six before I settle on one. So yeah, if you're doing traditional, you know, grab your papers, draw as much as you can because, you know, you really want to carve it out, you know, and I think at this point in the game, I don't need to see the purpose anymore, so I'll hide you and I'll just leave you here and then you as well. Oh. Actually, I'll move you closer. And boop. there you go. Yeah, I'm just taking like <laughs> am I drawing so fast? It comes with practice, you know. You'll get there as well, you know. And this is the type of stuff I draw all the time, you know. Like I think if you ask me to draw like an animal, that would take me way longer. So yeah, I guess this is my third and my final design. So yeah, we made it. We made it to the final. So now I'm gonna take everything I like everything I like from both designs so hmm, I want to look over it hmm, I really like the sleeves the 
how I did the the fur on the shoulder pads. So, hmm. I'm trying to see what shapes I could fix up. Or like what I could do differently this time around. Hmm. Yeah, lots of staring at paper. <laughs> so oh yeah. Like that's why uh feel free to just use as much paper as you want because once you erase something it just becomes like a black hole, right? That's why I say like draw light, you know you've noticed like if I press hard it'll look like this, right? I'm pressing really lightly on my paper or my digital file in this case. And uh yeah, just uh draw somewhere else, basically. <laughs> and uh draw on like different pieces of paper. Don't be shy to like use space. Yeah. So I'm gonna start off with like the fur, which I really like. And I think I'll make it roundish, more round than it is uh, sharp compared to the other one. So this will be rounded. And then, hmm. Yeah, overall, I think this will be a rounder design. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to experiment with how I could do the sleeves differently. Hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, in the second one, uh, when I was drawing the sleeves, I was, I was picturing it as like a light cloth. So maybe this time it'll be like heavy, like it'll be like leather. doing yeah you know sometimes uh in the rare occasions that i do traditional <laughs> i do like a phantom control z on my other hand it's a uh, it's weird you develop it <laughs> so you just like tap your tap your table or something expecting to do control z oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, even if like you feel like an idea is not working, like try your best to make it work because it might, you know, with a little elbow grease. Because to be honest, I'm not vibing with the sleeves right now. And I don't know. Maybe this design I'll add like I'll exaggerate all the fur. Oh yeah, traditional and digital both have their ups and downs. Oh show. And then I really like this one, the one sleeve, but maybe this time I'll, I'll make it as big. Like that. General shape. Yeah, I really like the second design, that's why I'm only making like slight differences, not too different. But just like, sometimes the littlest things could make the biggest difference, you know? Like it. And I'm trying to see what else I can change. And I think I'll still keep like this uh, skirt design. Oh yeah, for sure. Like traditional, you could just bring around everywhere. It's the best part. Cause like, I don't want to buy like hundreds of dollars worth of iPads, or like, an iPad and like a pen I mean, just to be able to draw on the go, I don't know. Can we work? Yeah, 
yeah, like, add logos and, like, give some lore to, like, what the logos mean. Because right now, this is a very, like, loose... This is a loose idea. I don't have, like, lore for this character. I just know, like, they're in the winter region. That's really all I know. And, you know, they have to survive, like, a harsh cold. Let the cloak remain. Yeah. So, like, the scarf, you mean? Like this? That's a good idea, actually. I haven't tried that yet. So, like, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Maybe this time around, there won't be, like... There won't be a thing here. There won't be fur. It'll just be, like, the scarf. I'll add like a, like a little, like clip here, like a button. No. Maybe I'll change it. Let me clean it up. And then, I don't know, they'll be in like a winter environment. Really windy, so I wouldn't want like a large flowy cape like this. So maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is the thing about designers. Gotta solve problems. Problem solvers. That scarf? Yeah. Yeah, it could, right? So, like, you could, like, pull it up to the face. That's a possible way of using it. Yeah, you know what? I'll save that for later. I'll save it for later. So I think this one, maybe I'll make the skirt like asymmetrical, like this uh, right here. Won't be the same. Like that. Only add like a little cape and I'll make it look kind of heavy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, even something as simple as like, oh yeah, there's like a rubber band around this one, and then there's not a rubber band on this one. That, that makes all the difference. Not much like variety in the pants, so maybe I'll try and change something. Cause like I don't know what these are called, but then they're like layered like this. So like maybe I'll try something like that. Like thick here. To make it look <laughs> to make the shoes have a more like bigger bigger silhouette. Because remember, we're still doing the silhouette part. Where, where did I write it down? Silhouette. There we go. Right there. Silhouette. That's what we're doing. <laughs> and where is it? This one. So this will be like giant boots. Yeah. <laughs> This is a weird design, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Has like elephant big feet. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the boots that I designed here? <laughs> they're like part of the pants, and then they're like I don't know, <laughs> or maybe they're not part of the pants. Maybe it's just like big, and then the boots. There you go.
¿Ya? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like this, like, uh, chunkier design for the boots, actually. I'll add a bit of fur, because you can't go wrong with fur. Yeah. <laughs> Red is a good word, yeah. Fancy. Yeah, see, this guy's, like... This is why it's worth, like, exploring it, because, like, bruh, how do we start from this, and then boom, we started out with this, like, guy who has so much character now, just based on, like, their outfit, they don't even have a face, you know? But this, this one gives off so much character, yeah, it's always worth, it's worth the exploration. Chunky yet sleek, yeah. Alright, about to add to the helmet. So this is the last part. So maybe the last part. I'll try to think of how I could change the uh, the shape of the helmet here. But to be honest, I think I think helmets are the part I designed the least. Cause I like I like just having my characters like this, where it's like, oh they're armored, and then they're like, wow fancy and then their hair is like whoa like flowy <laughs> i just love designing like flowy hair so i never do it i never put helmets on them yeah baggy sleeves baggy pants for sure hmm yeah i'm trying to think keeps his legs on Maybe a fluffy hat with ear flips to prevent the ears from getting cold. Yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think of like headwear for winter? Let me know. Chat. Yeah, I need chat strength. Give me strength. Hmm. Maybe I'll add like goggles this time around. And then maybe I'll add like a slight bandana, like going up to his neck like that. Or going up to their neck. Hmm. Or actually, you know what? Instead of like a, a helmet piece, I could add like the goggles up here actually. Like that. I kind of like that actually. <laughs> yeah, I think this is it. This is our million dollar idea. Yeah, I like that. And then I really like the the back flap, so I still I think I'll still add that. Yeah, hats, scarves, earmuffs, yeah, those are all good. What time is it? Alright. We got 30 minutes! Yeah, we got 30 minutes, oh my gosh. Alright, this is it. Speed run time, okay. Hold up, I'm gonna put up a poll, you guys. So I'm gonna number it, actually. One, two, and then three. So... What armor? No. <laughs> and then... One, two, three. There you go. I posted a poll, you guys. So yeah, vote away. Which one do you guys want? You guys want number one here, the last design. And number two. Alright, number three. Let me know. Do vote. How do I see poll? Yeah, I'm gonna give it like, maybe like a minute. <laughs> yeah, tough choice. At the end of the day, we only gotta pick one. Alright, let's see. Number one. Big cloak fan, yeah. But it looks like like number two is winning. Number two is winning so far. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll give it a few more. Like a one more minute. I don't have count, but... <laughs> Three kinda cool though, yeah. Can't see the poll? It's on chat. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is it. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll right now and design number two. Looks like design number two won. Yeah. Yeah, number two is just more sleek, right? And it it looks more versatile compared to uh, armors one, two, or three. Or one or three, I mean. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Or is it you? Yeah, you. Oh yeah, boom. Congratulations, armor three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Grow. There we go. So yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> Number two. So I guess we could finally move on to like the last final part, which is, da, da, da. let me grab it. I forgot where I wrote it down. <laughs> I'll just write it down here again. The color and material. So yeah, I think this is the part where I only briefly go over it. I don't spend... To be honest, I don't spend too much time on this one, but it's more just a personal thing. I don't know. I'm more like a sketcher. In the desert, and that's cool. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna... Do some like quick line art, just to define it, to find some features. Cause uh, oh, hold on, I gotta turn on my light. It's kinda dark. Where is it? Alright. So for this line art, I'm not gonna spend too long, considering we only have like less than half an hour. But I just wanna clean up. Clean up the whatchamacallit. The design, basically. <laughs> Hydra is like a desert in a way, since it's so dry. Yeah. So, they make it a bit lighter. And... So this time around, I'll be going at it with like a neater, neater line. Just enough to like, get the details. Yeah, this is speedrunning. Yeah, I think this is the part where I focus the most. So we'll add this like symbol. And then per And then just like a mannequin face. Yeah, maybe they have their eyes closed. Huh? Sleeve. Solid inspiration. Time to go into Clifton Scope. Thank you for the life. Well, thank you for coming. Such a nice comment. Yeah. Yeah, designing is so great. Because you're just free to draw whatever you want. You know. And sometimes in like the line art phase, I tend to discover some things for myself. So like, let's say here, maybe I want to add like a shape here just to make it a bit more interesting I don't know this is like this will be like a leather type so this one's metal I think and then the rest will be like leather so yeah I got a speed run <sighs> oh my gosh I spent too much time being nervous <laughs> I think if I was less nervous, oh, it's over. And then... Doop. And, yeah, 
add more fur. <laughs> Thank you. And I gotta remember, the fur is coming from the the armor and not like his sleeves. Man, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. What time is it? Okay. Which app do I use? I use uh, Clip Studio Paint. You only really need Pro if you want to stick with it. But I bought EX just because it was on like sale. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then... Sleeve. You know, even though I really like, <laughs> I like to say that I don't like line art, but I don't know, it's just so easy to work with. Cause I, I prefer working with more like a painterly style. Like if you look at my wing canvas profile, you can see that it's mostly like painterly stuff. Cause uh, it's something pretty new to me, but I really love the vibe of it. It's really unique looking and more organic compared to line art. Yeah, yeah, liner. It's just that uh, I don't know. You just gotta draw your your drawing again. <laughs> so I think that's the part that frustrates me. Yeah, add some details to the satchel here. Yeah. Also, you could just rewatch the stream anytime. You know. Not going anywhere. Yeah, it's like like I mentioned in the beginning, right? We're not we're not here to like make a beautiful like beautiful intricate character like uh that's perfect, like a perfect drawing that you could put on a picture book. This is more like designing it, you know? Cause we gotta figure out what they look like. Oh, color. I like sketch stage the most. Oh yeah, you and me both. I love sketching. I love every part of it. Yes. Yes. I love drawing. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. That episode out of the way. Sketch. What time is it? Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm speed running too hard, actually. Like, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm making good progress on my sketch. So far. And then fur again. Doot. Where can you see more of Bigby's art? It should be on uh, the Wing Canvas site. Like if you go into instructors and staff, I have a profile there and then you can see my artworks there. So yeah. And I think I want these uh, gloves to be like only the index finger and then the rest are like like the sock. Like that. And then cut the thumb here. And doot, doot. There. Yeah, I think I don't know why. I really love drawing seam lines. They're just so satisfying. 
So like here, like seam line, boom, satisfying. And seam line here, boom. It's so satisfying to refollow the shape. And all right, see ya. Bye bye. And then the pockets here. How do I do? Hmm. How would I design it? Maybe these are more like cube like. Yeah, so this is the part where you know you take it all in you worked so hard to like research mobility and like you figured out what your character looks like after all the sketching this is like the victory road you know <laughs> i'm the only one who draws too fast i'm so jealous <laughs> Ooh, maybe try drawing something that you feel like you have to think so uh i don't know draw like maybe a crazy pose that you wouldn't usually draw or uh draw something new like i don't know a dinosaur all right see ya bye bye here yeah draw bigger pieces that's right challenge yourself you know if you find like nothing's challenging you then maybe find a new challenge you know? take hours simple piece on my computer drawing slow is not ideal well you know, to each their own. Like, I don't think you should. Uh, I don't think you should worry too much about how fast or how slow you draw, until like you're actually like working on like commissions or whatever. I think for now, what you should focus on is like learning how to draw, what you want to draw, and eventually it'll come naturally that you draw things fast, right? I always lose patience. Then uh, try to make it fun for yourself, like. Like, maybe you think, like, oh, what's my favorite thing to draw? Like, I really like drawing, I don't know, people doing backflips? So maybe do people drawing backflips. <laughs> but then this time, like, I don't know, they're on fire. <laughs> or they have, like, some sort of element. <laughs> then, baggy pants. Boom. Layered pants. Yeah, never hurts to take your time. Yeah, and like, here's the thing, you guys. You guys will be drawing your whole life, you know? So like, let's say you make it to like 80 years old. Like, you'd still probably be drawing. Unless you, for some reason, decide not to draw anymore. So like, uh, what's the rush? <laughs> I think you should try to have fun with it. And discover, you know, what you want to draw. And then... If you really want to take things seriously, that's when you sit down. Sit down and like do your homework, take things like slow, time yourself. But I think for now, you know, like you gotta balance it. You can't just always be grind and like just grind and not not drawing whatever you want. You know, you gotta balance. You got so many years ahead of you. <laughs> Thank you. Adding like around the boots. <laughs> and uh, thanks for thanks for making me feel so comfortable with streaming, you guys. Like sometimes I forget this is like my first time. <laughs> Forgot like like less than an hour ago I was like freaking out. 
was like, oh my god, I was supposed to sleep. But now it's like, oh yeah. I'm more comfortable. Love dragons. I love drawing them. Yeah, right? So like, you'll be drawing like, so what, what are you rushing for, you know? There's like, why would you try to rush life? Not to go somewhere or something? Alright, the plate. Forgot the plate. Here. Hmm. Actually, I don't like this shape. Maybe I'll change it. They're more like. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it is my first time. What time is it? Okay, we got whoa, we got 20 minutes. No way. I sped run a bit too hard. <laughs> We're crazy. Is this it? Is this our PB? Personal best? Yeah, drawing. Armor design stream, wing canvas, any percent run. World record? Oh, I got this. Oh, the supporter chat. The power. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going for like the glitchless, glitchless uh, category. No hacks. Yeah, I promise, guys. I'm not hacking right now. This is just uh, all me. Wait, how did I draw? Right. And I think that's enough detail to turn off the sketch. Well, I feel comfortable turning that off now. And yeah. I gotta rest my hand a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna reach out while I rest my hand. Because I, I think I sped around a bit too hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. Like, Jesse is super talented. He's so good. Yeah, she's just uh, taking a bit of a break. He's hibernating. Until she awakens. Glitchless Winter Armor Run. Yeah, this is my PB so far. You know. Maybe I'll work on doing better next time. I don't know. This category. Kind of unorthodox. What kind of armor are we making? Um, where is it? So this is what we decided on earlier. You know, light traveling armor. It won the poll that you could vote on in the community tab. And then we decided this is like a winter traveler who holds like a staff. And, you know, they're very flexible. Like they could move around. And they're wearing a cloak, basically. But I know we said they were like wearing a cloak. But it kind of evolved into like something else, I guess. Because designing, you know, like it leads you to unexpected places sometimes. I don't want to stop drawing. Oh, you should never let it get that bad. <laughs> I think you, you need to know when to take a break, you know? You wouldn't want to blow out your wrist. So, yeah, now I think I'm going to work on coloring finally. Okay, how many more minutes? Okay. Yeah, so don't worry about this gray for now. Um, hmm. That means. Okay, making good time. Yeah, yeah, do your stretches. Mm. Is this my ink? Yes, it is. Maybe this work? Yeah, okay, that's 
That's good enough. No. Yeah. 18 minutes. Rip. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I got this from a site called Doba Syndrome, and they have a free music. So yeah. Should read up on like uh, their terms of use and stuff. Yeah, before I start drawing, I stretch my hand on a daily basis. Yeah. Oh, show. Sure. Yeah, is anybody excited for like that new Pokemon? Cause I'm kind of looking forward to it. I haven't played since Sun and Moon. Like I really like how you can play with friends at the same time and it's like open world. Like you don't have to follow the town, the town order. I think that's so sick. It looks so cool. Yeah, what do you guys think? New Pokemon. Thoughts? Yeah, the Sunday streams, they're not going to be up until a little while, so yeah. But next Friday, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be Vanessa, and she's doing like material rendering. So yeah, give her the same warm, warm welcome you guys gave me. Yeah. Lechonk. <laughs> yeah, Lechonk is so cute. But I don't know, I really like the red dog. The... what was his name? Like, Fido? But then Doe with like, you know, bread dough. <laughs> That's really cute. I love Fido. See you next stream. What time is it? Okay, got 15 minutes. Uh, gotta speedrun. Speedrun. Personal best. <laughs> Designing armor. <laughs> yeah, Fido. Oh, yeah. That's remakes. Yeah. That's true. But, I don't know. I think things are looking up for this one. Alright, finally... Did the layout. Oh yeah, Fido lovers rise up. Rise up. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna start coloring now. And the reason why I colored them all uh, gray is because it makes it easier to color <laughs> without going out of the lines. So I'll use clipping masks mostly to color. So let me line art forgot to draw this and hmm we mentioned it's a very wintry armor so blue and gold already comes to mind for me so maybe like the fur will be like slightly orange like this Yeah, I wonder what Fido evolves into. Like, will they be just as cute or will they be like really ugly? I don't know, we'll have to see. So I think I'm gonna color in all of like the fur parts first. Skeleton armor? That sounds sick. I think you're gonna have to design that one because I don't have enough time on stream to design skeleton armor. Yeah, right now I'm coloring like all the fruit. Wow though, nice. Thank you. <laughs>
that's all the fur parts for now. Deleting something in MS Paint. Hit N. <laughs> Lord, does it end your computer? Oh yeah, your computer just disappears right in front of you when you hit the end button. Yeah, the child of Epic. So, hmm. I think now I'm gonna add like a color to the cloth, maybe. So I'm gonna test some colors. So I'm gonna try like a mostly white design on here for the cloth. <laughs> Pokemon, but you love Score Bunny. Yeah, Score Bunny's really cute. Yeah, Cinderace is also really cool with like the soccer motif. Football. Some people. Yeah, two hours ish. That's right. They know. So. Let me add some. Oh, actually, I forgot. There's like some fur on the hair here. And then I think I'll make the hat white as well. Very cute. Yeah, hello. Welcome. trying to figure out what colors are good and I guess the metal would be like a dark gray for now uh, yeah and I think one thing I want to draw attention to while I'm coloring actually is notice that I'm not using the perfect versions of the colors what I mean by that is that I'm not using like a perfect white if you look at it on the color wheel, it's like slightly blue and it's like, not like this, not this white because it's a bit too bright. But adding like a hint of blue or like a hint of any color, it makes it look more alive. So I try to avoid using like perfect white, perfect black because uh, those are the rare colors you gotta save. You know? Gotta save them for like rare occasions. Yeah, so these dark gray parts will be the metal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just noticed we have nine minutes left. Okay, maybe I will be going over time. I think this isn't personal best, you guys. Uh, no world record today. <laughs> Stream is healing my art block. Yes! It reminds me that art should be fun and relaxing. Exactly. Like, I feel like that's a thing I see as well. Because, you know, social media, like, you know, you go on Instagram and you see all these, like, amazing artists, right? And you tend to think, like, oh, wow, I should be like that. I should be like that right now. And you kind of forget to, like, have fun with it, you know? So like, I'm really glad to hear that. So, actually, for my traditional homies out there, you know, maybe you don't have access to to layers, right, on your piece of paper. I mean, this is sad, but but maybe you want to experiment with color, right? So, a personal tip I could give you is, let's say, I'm designing colors for my boots, right? And I was thinking, like, I want my boots to be, like, brown. 
But I wouldn't want to color my final, right? Because if I don't like the color brown, then it's kind of ruined. And... So... The way I would do it is I would like roughly draw a boot like this. And then I'd be like, okay, I'll do like a guess. I like the colors. So maybe like this. And then this is the fur. And then I'd be like, hmm... This is kind of okay, but maybe what if... It's like a dark blue this time, the boot. Like that. And then dark gray. And then the fur. So this is how I would experiment with color if I was doing it traditionally. So like use up all the space you can, you know. Don't be don't be too uh don't be too stingy on the space, you know. Cause you wouldn't want to sacrifice your drawing. Just because you didn't want to waste, like, paper. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I think I kind of like this, actually. I'll add, like, the leather... The leather color. So, like, boop. What time is it? Okay, five minutes. But then I'll go a bit over time. I'll see. See how it goes. Like this is leather. <laughs> and then doot, doot, doot. And add some brown for the leather. For the colors here. Doot doot doot. Boop boop boop. And then, hmm. I'll add like the leather straps here. Forgot to color this white. Then maybe the belt will be leather here. Leather there. Oh, I forgot. This uh, helmet piece is metal. <laughs> is my name? Oh, <laughs> no. That's just uh, I've been called this since birth. It is not a reference. <laughs> But I love that though. I love that you noticed. <laughs> but I do get that a lot. People think it is a reference, but... but nah, I was born this way. This is my name. to see because now i wanted the top to be mostly like a whitish color like whitish shades so maybe i'll make the pants like something brighter maybe let me try this hold on maybe i'll make like the inner shirt a bit darker like that actually that, that, and then, yeah, maybe I'll make this one dark as well. Dark blue, because this is like the sleeves. And what time is it? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the background music's nice and relaxing. Yeah. So. This is a thing I like to do with the pants, or it could also work for the for the shirt. You could reverse it. You know, the shirt would be like a really like calm color, I guess. What's the term I would use? It's really light, I guess. Somewhere where your eye could rest. And then I like making the pants like a bright color. So like maybe like a bright blue. 
Let's see. Let's see if that looks good. Experiment. Let me see if that looks good. Actually, let me color in the gloves and the uh, the boots first. Color these in and you. you. Oh, don't need color right here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm flattered. But yeah, see, you guys, like, take your time, take your time sketching, and you'll come up with something amazing. It's always worth the effort. Right, I was gonna color in the the gloves as well. That. Yeah, so maybe I'll make the inside of the sleeves like the same bright blue. But let me try that. And then I'll add like some trim. Some sort of I don't know what color the trim would be. Maybe something on the bluer side as well. Oh. Dark. Alright, bye. Yeah, 6 p.m. <laughs> what time is it? Oh no. Uh, Alright, I'll take like 10 minutes tops. And then maybe I'll call it I'll call it a little bit. <laughs> I'll call it. I'll call it a lesson. Uh, tongue twisters. Like that. And. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I'll use this color. Because I wanted this part to be like a darker color. And then I'll give him like a skin tone. So like that gray. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, 10 more minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Will I stream again? Yeah. But I'll be mostly on the Sunday streams actually. So stay tuned for that, whenever it gets announced. Shogo drawing feet. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know what? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> I have to focus on cleaning up the drawing. But feet, uh, look up uh, how to draw feet references. Because you could basically decide, uh, divide it into three points. Where it's like the heel part, the middle part, and then the toe part. And that's how I usually draw mine. But yeah. You know what? I'll give it a bit of a bit of texture here. Some some shadows. <laughs> the computer work does time dilation. Yes. It does. It's a time travel machine, for real. I'll add like some minor shadows here and there. And then here, I'll add like a rough texture on this armor. So where is it? I don't know. My pencil. There we go. Just using like light strokes, you know, because I want to build up that shine. And I want to make it look more dusty and like textured, you know, because my idea for this character was that they're not very like well off, right? So they're a traveler. And so maybe their armor isn't as a, uh, isn't as polished, you know, made of like a fancy metal that's like super sleek super clean 
Maybe it's had its like fair share of bumps, cracks, and mix and dents. So yeah, you can see here I'm like, I started with light colors, and now I'm like slowly building it up. And I'm not just like doing like a full splotch of color. It's really coming along. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Now here's a tip I like to do about metal, is that edges catches lots of light. So I like to put like the brightest part of the metal on like the edges right there. And metal like hugs shape, basically. Like that. And just like light hugs the shape, so the shadow. So. Add some like shadow here, but only slightly, because we're already going over time. <laughs> yeah, well, only six more minutes. Six more minutes tops. Okay, we won't go that much into overtime. Yeah. Try my best. Yeah, it should be good. And then we'll do some like light, light, light shadow. Just to give the fur some more texture. Yeah, thank you. What's it kind of look like? Ah, really holding me to suspense. This is like the finishing touches. And then what on here? And add some Boop. touches here. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. I hope you catch more streams, and not just from me, but from like from Jesse and Vanessa, who's up and coming. Yeah, showing her the same support, you guys. It's gonna be great. But dang, I will never know. I will never know what my drawing kind of looks like. <laughs> Picture your coloring in kind of looks like, and then three dots. Dot dot dot. Is that is that why your name is three dots? Cause you're holding it in suspense, like dot dot dot. So mysterious. All right, bye bye. All right, what time is it? Okay, four more minutes for overtime. Okay, that's a bit too saturated. Kind of hard to cut drawing too. You get into a zone and you're stuck. Oh yeah, that's a mood and a half. It's just so fun when you like get into the groove of it. But yeah, I'm gonna add some highlights here. Like slightly gold. Boop. Some slight color, just to make it's more interesting. <laughs> yeah, we all have other things to do other than draw, sadly. But I think it makes it all the more special, right? Because you don't do it all the time. And something for you. Where are we? And a little bit of shadow. Right here. 
darker. What time is it? Okay, eight minutes. Alright, I think this should be enough work for today. We already went over time. Oh, hold on. Before I say that, I want to add like one more thing. One more thing. Boop, boop. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, I really want to keep working on it, but I gotta call it quits. So anyway, before I end the stream, you know, I want to remind you guys that, you know, we're not just a YouTube channel. We're also an art school, you know? So, you know, feel free to look at the website and look at the classes. I teach a handful of classes too, if you're interested. And, you know, if you want to keep supporting us and making free content, you know, you could become a member, you know, get access to all of these like emotes and stuff. And also you could go on Patreon for as low as two bucks per month. And then you get access to working files like this one. So yeah, that was it. And actually I forgot, uh, look forward to next week's stream. I think next week's stream upcoming is for Vanessa, and she'll be doing material rendering. And, uh, yeah, look forward to that. Thank you for making my first ever stream so special. And other than that, that's, that's me. <laughs> I've been Niggy. So yeah, see you everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.